Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Life Science with KMD. Today I am going to explain about phytohormones. Plant hormones are regulators produced by plants which in low concentration regulate physiological plant processes. Hormones usually move within plant from the site of production to the site of action. Classification of phytohormones. They are classified into two major classes. One is growth promoters and another one is growth inhibitors. Under growth promoters, auxin, cytokinins, gibberellins are present. Whereas in case of growth inhibitor, ethylene abscisic acid and jasmonic acid will come. History of auxin. Charles Darwin was among the first scientists to double in plant hormone, plant hormone research. In his book, The Power of Movement, he mentioned about a plant hormone presented in the year 1980. The term auxin was derived from the Greek word meaning to increase or to grow. This was the first group of plant hormone discovered. Now, this is the structure of auxins. One is native auxin. Another one is a synthetic auxin. In native auxin, examples are indole 3 acetic acid, which is also called as IAA, indole 3 butyric acid, which is also called as IBA, 4 chloro indole 3 acetic acid, 2 phenyl acetic acid, which is also called as uh, PAA. In case of synthetic auxin, example are 2,4 D. Full form is 2,4-dichlorophenoxy acetic acid, alpha naphthalene acetic acid, 2-methoxy 3,6-dichlorobenzoic acid, 4-amino 3,5,6-trichloropicolinic acid. So these are the some of the examples and structure of the auxin. Biosynthesis of auxin. There are two pathways in biosynthesis of auxin. One is tryptophan dependent pathway, another one is tryptophan independent pathway. In case of tryptophan dependent pathway, it is further divided into four types. One is uh, IPA pathway, TAM pathway or TAM pathway or uh, another one is uh, IAN pathway and bacterial pathway. Tryptophan dependent pathway. In 1935, Thaiman demonstrated that the fungus Rhizopus sinus con could convert amino acid tryptophan into indole 3 acetic acid. Since then, it is generally held that tryptophan is primary precursor of indole acetic acid in plant. The indole 3 acetic acid can be formed from tryptophan by different pathways. Now this picture represents tryptophan dependent pathway of uh, indole 3 acetic acid biosynthesis in plant and bacteria. So first the tryptophan is converted into indole 3 pyruvic acid with the help of an enzyme tryptophan transaminase. Now this indole 3 pyruvic acid is converted into indole 3 acetaldehyde with the help of an enzyme uh, indole 3 pyruvic acid decarboxylase. Uh, now the enzyme indole 3 acetaldehyde then convert this indole 3 acetaldehyde into indole 3 acetic acid. This pathway is called as IPA pathway because the intermediate first intermediate formed by this process is indole 3 pyruvic acid and this pathway is seen in most of the plants. Now this tryptophan could be converted into indole 3 acetal, uh, acetal doxim, uh, doxim with the um, in case of uh, brassica, poesi and musesi, the tryptophan is converted into indole 3 acetoxim, acetal doxim. Now this indole 3 acetal, acetal doxim uh, will be converted into indole 3 acetonitrile. And then with the help of an enzyme nitrilase, indole 3 acetonitrile is converted into indole 3 acetic acid. So this pathway is called as um, 
IAN pathway because the intermediate is uh, the first intermediate which is produced from the tryptophan is indol 3 acetol doxim. Uh, then uh, this pathway is seen in Brassica, Poiasi, and Musaceae. Next is tryptophan could be converted into indol 3 acetamide. In case of um, bacteria, certain bacteria like agrobacterium, tumefaciens, and pseudomonas species. So, uh, tryptophan is converted into indole 3 acetamide with an, help, uh, with an help of an enzyme tryptophan monoxygenase. Later, this indole 3 acetamide is converted into indole 3 acetic acid with the help of an enzyme indole 3 acetamide hydro, hydrolase. Then there will be another pathway where the tryptophan is converted into tryptamine with the help of an enzyme tryptophan decarboxylase. Now the enzyme amine oxidase convert this tryptophan, tryptamine into indole 3 acetaldehyde and then to indole 3 acetic acid. So this, uh, um, pro, I mean this pathway is called as TAM pathway, or the intermediate first intermediate formed from the tryptophan is uh, tryptamine. So this pathway is called as TAM pathway. Tryptophan independent pathway. In recent years, experimental evidence for the existence of tryptophan independent pathway of indole acetic acid biosynthesis in higher plant have been obtained from the mutant of maize and arabidopsis which comes under brassicaceae family the branch point for the biosynthesis of indole acetic acid indole 3 acetic acid may either be uh, indole or indole 3 glycerol phosphate with uh, ian and ipa as possible intermediate However, neither the intermediate precursor of IAA in this pathway has yet been identified not relative importance of the tryptophan dependent and independent pathway is clearly understood. Mechanism of action of auxin. Auxin cause wide range of physiological effect in plant. Some of these effects such as uh, cell elongation in shoot occur in minute in response to auxin while other such obsession occur so other such as obsession occur in days in response to auxin treatment most studies on auxin induced growth in plant have been carried out in excised section of dicot stem such as soya bean hypocotyle and pea hepicotyle and uh, coleoptile such as oat and maize coleoptile but in recent years auxin induced growth has also been demonstrated in intact auxin deficient mutant of p the target site of auxin action in dicot stem are the outer tissue including epidermis and outer cortex in coleoptile all non vascular tissue that is epidermis and mesophyll are responsive to auxin treatment auxin signal transduction pathway so in the absence of auxin the transcription factor arf forms the inactive heterodimer with the auex or iaa protein now the inactive heterodimer block this transcription <coughs> of early auxin gene there is no auxin response later auxin signal transduction pathway takes place where the in the presence of the auxin AUX and IAA protein are targeted for the destruction by the by an active uh, by an activated uh, ubiquitin ligase now um, AUX or IAA protein are tagged with the ubiquitin and uh, degraded by 26 yes protease later uh, the iaa induced degradation of the 
AUX or IAA protein a low active ARF homodimer to form. Then the active AFR homodimer binds to the palindromic um, AUXRE in the promoter of the early gene activating transcription. <clears throat> the uh, transcription of early gene initiate auxin response. Then mm, the auxin mediated growth and development, the stimulation of AUX and IAA gene introduce a negative feedback loop. Physiological effect of auxin. Following points are the highlights of physiological effect of auxin in plant. One is cell elongation, epical dormancy, uh, root initiation, prevention of abscession, parthenocarpy, respiration, callus formation and vascular differentiation. Cell elongation. The primary physiological effect of auxin in plant is to stimulate elongation of cell in shoot. Very common example of this can be observed in phototrophic curvature where the unilateral light unequally distribute the auxin in the stem tip. More auxin on shaded side that on inhibited side. Many theories have been proposed to explain the mechanism of cell elongation properly. By reducing the wall pressure, by increasing the permeability of cells to water, by increasing the wall synthesis and by inducing the synthesis of RNA and protein which turn uh, which uh, turn led to an increase in cell wall plasticity and extension. Epical dominance. Epical or terminal bud of many vascular plants are very active while lateral bud remain inactive. Removal of epical bud promote lateral buds to grow. Epical dominance is due to much higher auxin content in epical bud than lateral buds. Skoog and Taiman first pointed out that the epical dominance might be under the control of auxin produced at the terminal bud and uh, which is transported downward through stem to the root. Lateral bud and hinder their growth and hinders their growth. They remove the epical bud of the broad bean plant and replace with agar block. This result in rapid growth of lateral bud. But when they replace the epical bud with agar block containing auxin, lateral bud remain suppressed and did not grow. It is now generally held that inhibitory effect of auxin from shoot apex on the lateral bud is not direct but indirectly possible through the involvement of other growth hormones such as cytokinins and abscessic acid. Root initiation. In contrast to stem, the higher concentration inhibit the elongation of root but the number of lateral branch root is considerably increased the uh, considerably increase that is the higher concentration of auxin initiate more lateral branch roots. Application of IAA in linolin paste to cut end of young stem result in an early and extensive rooting. In fact, uh, this fact is of great practical importance and has been widely utilized to promote root formation in economically useful plant which are propagated uh, by cutting. Prevention of abscession. Natural auxin have controlling influence on abscession of the leaves and fruits etc. Auxin promote uh, fruit development. Regulation of fruit development after fruit set fruit growth depends on auxin. Now in this picture the strawberry fruit is a actual uh, actually a swollen receptacle whose growth is regulated by auxin produced by the seed which is actually akin the true fruit. When the akin are removed, the receptacle fail to develop normally. Spraying the akin less receptacle with IAA restore normal growth and development. Parthenocarpy Auxin can induce the formation of parthenogenic uh, parthenocarpic fruit 
in nature also this phenomenon is not uncommon and in such case the concentration of auxin in the ovary has been found to be higher than in the ovaries of plant which produce fruits only after fertilization in the later case the concentration of auxin in ovaries increases after pollination and fertilization respiration it has been established that the auxin stimulate respiration and there is a correlation between auxin induced growth and an increased respiration rate according to friends uh, and beaver in 1953 the auxin may increase the rate of respiration indirectly through increased supply of adp that is adenosine diphosphate by rapid utilization of atp in the expanding cells callus formation besides cell elongation auxin may also be active in cell division in fact many tissue cultures were the where the callus growth is quite normal continued growth of such callus takes place only after the addition of auxin vascular difference um, the auxin induced vascular differentiation in plant this has also been confirmed in tissue culture experiment and from studies of transgenic plants cytokinins are also known as uh, known to participate in differentiation of vascular tissue and it is believed that the vascular differentiation in plant is probably under the control of both auxins and cytokinins discovery of abscisic acid in 1940s scientists isolated a substance from the leaves called dormin in the early 1960s it was confirmed the application it was confirmed that the application of a dormin to a bud would induce dormancy in 1963 ft adicot discovered a substance stimulated abscission of the cotton fruit he named this substance as abscisin 2 in 1964 it became evident that three groups had discovered the same plant hormone later on the name was changed to abscisic acid it is also represented as aba chemical composition of abscisic acid abscisic acid is a 15 carbon sequence terpene compound it composed of a 3 isoprene residue carboxylic uh, i mean uh, cyclohexane ring with a keto 1 hydroxyl group a side chain with terminal with the terminal carboxylic acid now the orientation of uh, carboxylic group at the carbon 2 determines the cis or trans isomers of abscisic acid abscisic cis abscisic acid are biologically active whereas the trans abscisic acid are biologically inactive nearly all the naturally occurring abscisic acid is in the form of a cis form occurrence and distribution abscisic acid is ubiquitous plant hormone in a vascular plant in bryophytes it has been found in mosses but not in liverwort some fungi synthesize abscisic acid as a secondary metabolites a 15 carbon compound called linoleic acid linoleic acid has been found in algae and liverwort abscisic acid is synthesized in all type of cells that contain chloroplast and other plastid it occur predominantly in mature leaves abscisic acid has been detached in all major organs or living tissue from root cap from root cap to epical bud phloem sap and xylem sap um, epical bud phloem sap xylem sap and nectar now first the biosynthesis of abscisic acid takes place in the plastid here the initial stage occur in the plastid where the isopentyl diphosphate which is also called as ipp is converted into a 40 carbon xanthophyll called as zeaxanthin now this zeaxanthin is further modified into 9 cis neoxanthin which is cleaved by the enzyme nced which is a 9 cis epoxy carotenoid deoxygenase to form 15 uh, c15 inhibitor called xanthosol xanthosol is converted into an abscisic acid in the cytosol which is a 15 carbon atom 
transport of uh, abscessic acid in plant externally applied abscessic acid is distributed in all direction cell to cell transport is slow abscessic acid synthesized in root cap transported to central vascular tissue and uh, transported mostly in its free form it is uh, conjugated its conjugated form as uh, abscessic acid beta d glycoxyl uh, glycoxyl ester redistributed redistribution of abscessic acid mainly depend on ph gradient at low ph protonated or undissociated form of uh, abscessic acid will be formed and it is represented as abah at high ph dissociated form that is aba minus will be present uh, abscessic acid signal transduction pathway abscessic acid elicits two response one is rapid response and uh, gradual response these fast and slow response uses different receptors there are multiple abscessic acid receptors which are soluble and membrane bound three classes of abscessic receptors are present one is membrane uh, plasma membrane localized uh, g protein another one is plastid localized enzyme cytosolic uh, ligand binding protein which is uh, which is having a star domain of uh, super super family developmental and physiological role of abscessic acid it promote stomatal closing induced uh, bud dormancy and um, seed dormancy promote desiccation tolerance in embryo inhibit precocious germination and viviparity promote root uh, growth and inhibit shoot growth in stressed water condition leaf senescences it promotes stomatal closing whenever abscessic acid binds to the guard cell which are present on the plasma membrane it lead to the um, entry of calcium ion and uh, um, exit of the potassium ion so um, aba plasma membrane receptor if uh, the mutant that lack the ability to produce uh, aba exhibit permanent um, wilting and are called wilt mutant because of their inability to close their stomata stomata closing can also be caused by abscessic acid synthesized in the root and exported to the shoot induced seed dormancy growth of seed suspended dormant seeds primary dormancy and secondary dormancy are controlled by the ratio of abscessic acid and gibberellic acid embryo dormancy is due to the presence of inhibitors especially abscessic acid as well as the absence of growth promoters such as gibberellic acid uh, the loss of embryo dormancy is often associated with the sharp do, uh, sharp drop in the ratio of abscessic acid to gibberellic acid working model for tobacco seed germination here the plus sign represent has a positive effect or it will helps in promotion in helps in promoting the seed germination whereas the uh, negative sign led to the inhibition of seed germination so at the first stage of germination which is in the first day the seed will be intact when this seed absorb the light um, particularly the far red light this far red light helps in promoting i mean helps in synthesis of gibberellic acid which has a positive effect that is it helps in seed germination so uh, in the second stage that too on the second day the uh, rupture of testa will takes place but the endosperm will be intact next in the second stage the alpha uh, the beta 1 2 glucogenase start to weakening the endosperm which led to the endosperm rupture where there will be a positive effect of the ethylene and uh, uh, abscessic acid have a negative effect on this but if there is a ethylene then this uh, ethylene plus uh, beta 1 3 glucogenase has a positive respond uh, response and this will lead to the endosperm rupture which led to the 
germination stage 3 on the third day where both rupture of the seed um, testa and uh, endosperm will be seen. In the uh, fourth day, on fourth day, full germination of the seed will be seen. Induced dormancy of bud. Bud dormancy, shortened internode and especially modified leaves that is bud, bud scales. Most of the trees bud formed late summer and remain dormant throughout the winter. Leaves of the endogenous subsessic acid is high. Herbaceous plant, example potato. Promote desiccation tolerance in the embryo. The important function of abscessic acid is the developing seed desiccation tolerance. The level of abscessic acid in seed peak during embryogenesis. During mid to late stage of seed development, specific mRNA accumulate in, in the embryo. These mRNA encode so-called late embryogenesis abundant, which is also called as LEA protein. Synthesis of many LEA protein induce abscessic acid treatment. Induced by abscessic acid treatment. Inhibit precocious germination and vivipary. When immature embryo are removed from the seeds placed in culture media, they germinate precociously. Abscessic acid added to the culture medium inhibit precocious uh, germination. This result in combination with the fact of the level of endogenous abscessic acid in high during uh, mid to late seed, germ, uh, seed development suggest that abscessic acid is the natural con uh, constraint that keep developing embryo in their embryonic state. During seed development, embryo of monocot and dicot plant may fail to complete complete maturation and germination while the immature seed is still attached to the maternal plant I mean maternal tissue this phenomenon is referred to as vivipary or pre-harvested pre-harvest sprouting in maize several viviparous mutant have been selected in which the embryo germinate directly on the cob while setting uh, while still attached to the plant. Vivipary in the abscessic acid deficient mutant can be partially prevented by treatment with exogenous abscessic acid. Leaf senescence, a deteriorative process that naturally terminate their functional life referred to as senescence. Expression of senescence associated gene increases. Hydrolytic enzymes like protease, ribonuclease, lipase, um, abscessic acid involved in um, senescence of leaves, but not the obsession of leaves. Shoot and root growth. Abscessic acid has different effect on growth of uh, roots, shoots, and the effect of uh, and effects are strongly dependent on the water status of the plant. In maize, uh, the two types of seedlings were used. One is wild type seedling with normal abscessic uh, acid level and uh, another one is uh, abscessic acid deficient viviparous mutant. This suggests that endogenous abscessic acid promote shoot growth is in well watered plant and uh, endogenous abscessic acid act as a signal to reduce shoot growth only under water stressed condition. Cytokines are the classes of plant growth substances that promote cell division or cytokinesis in plant root and shoots. They are involved primarily in cell growth and differentiation. Discovery of cytokines. Haberland in the year 1913 compound in phloem stimulates cell division. Found out that a compound in the phloem stimulates cell division. Van Overbeek in 1914 found out that coconut milk which is an endosperm also has an ability to stimulate cell division. Job Lawn Sky and Skoog in the year 1954 found out that a compound in the vascular tissue promotes cell division. Miller in 1955 
first cytokine was isolated from the herring sperm named kinetin. Miller in 1961 first naturally occurring cytokines found in plants later called zeatin. Now chemical structure of cytokines. It consists of a amino purin ring or adenosine structure uh, and a N6 side chain. Now the degree of unsaturation also varies and the number of uh, carbox, uh, carbon in side chain also varies. Now there will be a free base form or mostly hormonally active and uh, may have a sugar attached to make molecule more inactive and useful for transport of riboside or ribotide or glycosides. Cytokinin biosynthesis Adenosine phosphate isopentenyl transferase catalyze the first reaction in the biosynthesis of isoprene cytokinins. It, uh, it may use ATP or ADP or AMP as a substrate and may use the dimethyl pyrophosphate which is also represented as DMAPP or hydroxymethyl butenyl pyrophosphate which is also called as HMBPP as prenyl donor. This reaction is a rate limiting step in cytokinin biosynthesis. Uh, DA, DMADP and HMBDP used in cytokinin biosynthesis are produced by the methyl erythritol phosphate pathway. Cytokinin can also be produced by recycled tRNA in plants and bacteria. tRNA with anticodon that start with a uridine and carry a already pyrrelated adenosine adjacent to the anticodon release on degradation and adenosine as a cytokinin. The Prenylation of these adenosine is carried out by tRNA isopentenyl transferase. Auxin is uh, known to regulate biosynthesis of cytokinins. Now the biosynthesis generated mostly in the root apical meristem but also found in root capsules, ovules, phloem cells, leaf axils, <coughs> leaf axils tip of young inflorescence, fruit, seeds. Other organism make cytokinins to influence the plant for their own benefit like bacteria, fungi, insects, nematodes. Transport. Cytokinins move up the plant through xylem. By contrast, auxin move from top to down. Some signal in the shoot can also be induced cytokinin transport from root. Coming to the signaling, cytokinin change the structure of the histidine kinase domain. This is the histidine kinase domain and a recessive domain. Now the phosphate move from the um, kinase domain to the receiver domain. Now from the, these phosphate move into the AHP domain and uh, from AHP moves from cytoplasm to the nucleus and then from the um, AHP move from uh, cytoplasm to the nucleus and the phosphate in the AHP moves to the receiver domain of the response regulator. Then the change in the structure of the receiver domain affect the output domain. Output domain then signal the transcription which led to the cytokinin response. Function of cytokinins. Um, functions of cytokinins are cell division, root and uh, shoot meristem, meristems, 
cell differentiation, leaf senescence, inflorescence growth, nutrient mobilization, cotyledon expansion, apical dominance and seed seedling morphology. Uh, when it comes to cell division, auxin and cytokinin influence the activity of cyclin dependent protein kinase. Both of these protein that regulate uh, G1 to S phase and G2 to mitosis stage in the cell cycle. Auxin stimulate the production of uh, CDKs and cyclins. Cytokinins activate CDKs and uh, cyclin through phosphorylation and allow transcription between stages. Root and shoot meristem. So cytokinin function, if you, it comes to the root and shoot meristem, optimum level of cytokinins are needed for normal cell growth and division. In case of root cytokinins, overabundance inhibits cell division. Whereas in case of uh, shoot, cytokinin promotes cell division. Cytokinin oxidase uh, di dictates meristematic cytokinin concentration. Mutant can either overproduce or underproduce this enzyme. Cell differentiation. Auxin cytokinins affect cell differentiation in callus tissue. More auxin led to the rutin, whereas uh, more cytokinin led to the shoots. Uh, this was observed by Murashige and Miller in 1965. Leaf senescence. Cytokinin delays leaf senescence, delay the degradation of chloroplast, may increase the growing season for agriculture. Delay leaf senescence help plant recover from environmental drought and flood. Inflorescence growth. Cytokinin induce division in inflorescence step, lead to more flower which yield more fruit. Cytokinin oxidase regulate rice grain production. Plant in this is, uh, I mean plant in this study have lower level of cytokinin oxidase. The plant then produce more fruits. Cytokinin induced nutrient mobilization. The causes, uh, this cause a new source sink relationship in the growing part of the plant. If plant need more nutrients to grow, cytokinin, uh, cytokinins accumulate in the root zone to stimulate growth. Nitrogen is often the limiting nutrient most slot after. Cotyledon expansion. Promote expansion of cotyledon, extend the cell wall, differ from auxin expansion. Unlike auxin, no proton extrusion through cell wall happens. Epical dominance. Antagonistic hormone interaction between cytokinins and auxin. Cytokinins stimulate growth in axillary bud, inhibit shoot elongation. Auxin restrain growth in auxiliary buds, causes shoot to lengthen. Mutants that overproduce cytokinins in lateral meristem are, are uh, bushy. This relationship was also shown in our experiment. Seedling morphology. Etiolated leaves treated with uh, cytokinin produce more active or productive chloroplast upon illumination. Dark germinated seedling treated with cytokinin um, sh have shown shortened hypocotyledon and expanded uh, cotyledon partially development of etioplast into chloroplast. Cytokinin transport and metabolism. Transport of cytokinin from root to shoot via xylem. Cytokinin in xylem exudate are mainly in form of zeatin ribocytes via xylem. Transpiration stream in peas. A signal from the leaf may signal regulate transport of cytokinin from the root zeatin ribocyte or the main transport form converted to the free base or glucoside in the leaves. Some cytokinins also move in phloem. 
metabolism of cytokinins cytokinins are rapidly metabolized by cytokine oxidase thereby inactivating the cytokines into adenine plus 3 methyl 2 butenol the active cytokinin oxidase induced by high concentration of uh, high concentration of cytokinin ethylene is a natural plant hormone released by all plant tissue and microorganism it is also called ripening hormone as it plays an important role in ripening process low concentration of 0.1 to 1 microliter is sufficient to trigger the ripening process of climateric fruits it has autocatalytic activity because of which such small quantity can trigger further release of large quantities of ethylene by fruit tissue a very little response is only seen to exogenous application of ethylene in in case of non climateric fruits effect of ethylene on fruit ripening ethylene decide the post harvest life of fruits vegetables and cut flowers synthesis of ethylene varies with maturity of fruit vegetables and flowers synthesis of ethylene is less in young bud while it is more in open and senescent fruits vegetables and flowers endogenous ethylene production takes place in the style which trigger wilting senescence of the flower the most accepted pathway for synthesis of ethylene is methionine pathway biosynthesis of ethylene it start from methionine methionine is converted into s adenosyl methionine with the help of an enzyme adomet synthase now this s adenosyl methionine is converted into acc which is also called as 1 amino cyclopropane 1 carboxylic acid with the help of an enzyme acc synthase now this acc is converted into ethylene with the help of an enzyme acc oxidase at a temperature of uh, below 35 degree centigrade and with the presence of carbon dioxide factors governing the activity of acc synthase stages of senescence production of ethylene is less in younger flower production of ethylene increases during flower maturation opening and senescence of flowers oxygen level during pollination oxygen is transferred from pollen to stigma oxygen induces the production of ethylene this oxygen induced ethylene increase the synthesis of ethylene physical injury physical injury induce the synthesis of ethylene even the chilling injury induce the synthesis of ethylene classification of horticulture commodities based on ethylene there are uh, five classes one is very low low moderate high and very high in case of very high the range of ethylene is uh, um, is below 0.1 microgram per hour at 20 degree centigrade um it can be used for asparagus ca- cauliflower cherry citrus fruit whereas in case of low um, the ethylene concentration range from 0.1 to 1 microgram per hour examples or the commodities are brinjal chili cucumber green capsicum okra moderate concentration will be range from 1 to 10 microgram per hour and um, commodities are banana guava fig lychee and then in case of high concentration it range from 10 to 100 microgram uh, and uh, commodities are apple apricot avocado kiwi fruit papaya peach plump and peach very high will range from uh, more than 100 uh, microgram per hour like sapota passion fruit so these are all the commodities in which the classes will be um, differentiated sources of ethylene ethylene gas a pure ethylene gas enclosed in a can or a cylinder is sprayed 
or injected into the chamber ethylene portable can can contain 3 g sufficient to ripen 2 to 6 tons of produce is available commercially ethofen is used as spray or dip acidic uh, in water release ethylene ethylene mixture plus inert gas like carbon dioxide inert gas because not enough oxygen remain in the chamber to provide an explosive mixture example ripe gas contain 6% ethylene ethylene generator widely used method where liquid spirit produce ethylene when heated with the presence of catalyst platinized asbestos use of ripe fruits cheap and simple wherein ripe fruit with high ethylene producers such as apple banana mango sapota tomato is used at home to ripe or degreen removal of ethylene eliminate the ethylene source provide proper ventilation kmno4 oxidize the ethylene gas into carbon dioxide and water brominated or activated charcoal absorb ethylene regulation of ethylene storage hypobaric storage in hypobaric storage the action of ethylene is low due to easy movement of silver ion at low pressure controlled atmospheric storage the rate of ethylene synthesis is low at high carbon dioxide and low oxygen ethylene inhibitors ethylene inhibitors are silver chloride silver nitrate silver thiosulfate methyl cyclopropane gibberellins are endogenous plant growth regulators about 40 gibberellins occur in plant while other are present in some fungi kurosawa kurosawa a japanese physiologist is credited for initiating discovery of gibberellins from a fungi gibberella fujikoroi grown on rice in 1926 according to palage gibberellins are compound having gibbane skeleton and biological activity in stimulating cell division or cell elongation or both ya yabuta and hayashi isolated a crystalline sample of the active material which they were called gibberellins now this is the basic structure of a gibberellins and these are different types of gibberellins that is ga1 ga3 ga15 ga17 so this is the main basic structure and there are different types of uh, gibberellic acid and uh, their structure now what are the functions of gibberellins they helps in stem elongation blotting seed germination breaking the seed dormancy parthenocorpy increasing fruit size flowering and sex expression fruit growth parthenocorpy and uh, delayed ripening flowering and molting mechanism of action act by inducing activity of uh, gluconeogenic enzymes during early stage of seed germination gibberellins also induce synthesis of alpha amylase and other hydrolytic enzymes during germination of monocot seeds gibberellins also metabol um, also mobilize seed storage reserves during germination and seedling emergence biosynthesis of gibberellins in plant biosynthesis in apical tissue and there are three main sites of biosynthesis developing seeds and fruits young leaves of developing apical buds and elongation uh, elongating shoots and apical region of roots the pathway of gibberellin biosynthesis can be divided into three stage each of which is accomplished in a different cellular compartment now in the first stage formation of terpenoid precursor and entcorin 
in plastid will takes place this pathway is also called as mevalonic acid pathway because the isopentenyl pyrophosphate was uh, <coughs> produced by mevalonic acid gibberellic acid biosynthesis um, bi biosynthesized from c carbon precursor that is ipp which is a isopentenyl pyrophosphate now this isopentenyl pyrophosphate may be synthesized either in the plastide or the cytosol from isopentenyl pyrophosphate uh, carbon 10 10 carbon gpp or 15 carbon fpp or 20 carbon c 20 carbon ggpp ggpp means geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate will be synthesized um will be synthesized which is a precursor for terpenoid or formed by the condensation of uh, isopentenyl pyrophosphate so after the formation of this ggpp uh, it is conformed the pathway will, will uh, gppp the pathway becomes specific for gibberellic acid synthesis now this uh, ggpp that is geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate is converted in converted by two cyclization cyclization reaction through copyl uh, copyl pyrophosphate into ent corin the reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme cyclase which are located in the protoplastid not on the mature chloroplast in fact the constitute uh, in fact constitute the first step of the specific Uh, specific for uh, gibberellic acid this step of uh, gibberellic acid biosynthesis is inhibited by the compound like uh, arm um, 1618 or phosphone d or ccc now the second uh, now the second stage is oxidation of um, gibberellic acid 12 and gibberellic acid 53 on endoplasmic reticulum through gibberellic acid 12 aldehyde so now whatever the n cortin hent cortin produced in the plastid will be transported from the plastid to the endoplasmic reticulum now a methyl group of n cortin at ninth carbon position is oxidized to carboxylic group which is followed by contraction of uh, ring b from uh, form 6 carbon to 5 carbon structure to form gibberellic acid 12 aldehyde now this gibberellic acid 12 aldehyde is subsequently oxidized to give gibberellic acid 53 which is a precursor to all other gibberellic acid in the plant hydroxylation of gibberellic acid 12 at uh, c c13 result in the formation of gibberellic acid 53 enzymes catalyzing the above oxidation reaction are mono oxygenase which are located in the endoplasmic reticulum and utilize the cytochrome p5 p450 in this reaction the activity of this enzyme is inhibited by placobutrolzol and other inhibitors before ga12 aldehyde next is the third stage where the formation of all other gibberellic acid from uh, gibberellic acid 12 or gibberellic acid 53 in the cytosol takes place all other steps of biosynthesis of gibberellic acid from these two gibberellic acids are carried out in the cytosol by soluble enzymes called deoxygenase these enzymes require molecular oxygen and two oxoglutarate as a co-substrate and use ferrous ion and ascorbic acid as a cofactor the environmental factors such as temperature and uh, photoperiod are known to affect the biosynthesis of gibberellins so in this way all other gibberellic gibberellic acid forms are produced from gibberellic acid 12 or gibberellic acid 53 thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button 
subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you